Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Z here. Hope you're having a great Labor Day weekend. If you're not, then that sucks for you because school starts tomorrow. For all those who are still in school. Anyway, I decided uh, that I was going to record this project that I've been meaning to do for quite a while now. Um, and that is, basically I wanted to swap out the cable on my Edifier H180s because it is a very delicate cable. And so, I decided that I'm going to swap it out for the cable that came with the BGVP DX3s, since I'll most probably never end up using these earbuds anyway, so I figured why not. So I did have to cut the MMCX connectors off the cable, so I definitely won't be able to even use this cable again on these uh, DX3s, but this cable is now going for a better cause. It's going to my Edifier H180s, which I will most definitely be using uh, in the near future. Um, so. Let me just uh, preface this by saying that my skills in soldering are trash, literally. Also, I didn't have a multimeter, so this project was kind of, uh, I got lucky, I would say, with matching up the cables, especially since this is a four core cable. So like I said, I got lucky with matching up the cables to the proper uh, soldering points. But to be honest, I don't even know if this is still right. All I know is that sound comes out from the earphones, right channel, from the right earphone, left uh, left channel, left earphone, and uh, I'm getting good sound, good quality sound too. There's also no static noise, surprisingly, so I would say that this was, in the end, successful. Now I'm going to show you guys the footage of me messing around with these, uh, with these Edifier H180s and just swapping out the cable on them. So here it is. So one of the biggest reasons I came around to actually finally doing this was basically yesterday, one of the sides of my Fa'il earphones stopped working and I had to replace, um, sorry, I had to re-solder one, one of the cables. I believe it was the left channel cable that kind of came loose. And as I opened up the left earphone, what happened was the coil snapped from the actual driver. So I'm pretty sure this um, makes the earphone useless. So I took the drivers out as you guys can see here. These are the from the Fa'il 64 ohms. Took them out. I had a spare pair from the um, Vitos. I ordered an extra, extra pair that I had in my uh, earphone earphone inventory that I never used. So I took those out from there, put them in here. And as you can see, I also added some shrink tubing. So red for the right chat for the right earphone and then the blue for the left earphone. As you can see, it's kind of stylish and I'm also able to tell the difference between them without um, yeah, so if I was to take off the the, the foam pads, I would still I would still know without really looking at them which one is the um, which one is the right earphone and which one is the left earphone. I believe it also adds to the durability of the cable, so that's uh, that's an extra plus. So anyway, I needed a cable for my um, Edifier H180s, as you can see, I am holding them in my hand. So. I decided upon the BGPP DX3s, uh, they're in a pair of earbuds that I reviewed, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, and uh, I'm not going to be using those earbuds, so I figured why not just uh, use them for this project, because it is a really good cable. Now the thing I didn't realize at the time before cutting them was that it was a, it is a four core cable. And I didn't, I had no experience with that. I've never actually soldered a four core cable before with a, in a pair of earphones. So this was a first for me. But anyway, as you can see here, I am having trouble removing the MMCX uh, connectors to the, from the um, earphone ports. So I used my uh, handy dandy pocket knife, basically edged the blade in there, in that crevice there. And as you can see, I popped the earphone off. So that's, uh, if you guys are having trouble with your um, MMCX earphones, that's a good way of uh, removing the um, connectors from the ports. This next step, I had to pop off the caps from the Edifier H180s. This was uh, kind of difficult. They were glued pretty tightly, so I ended up using some foam for some uh, grip on the caps. So after I popped out the left one, I took down some notes for future reference so that in case I messed something up, I would know which cable goes where. The next step here was unsoldering the old cable on the Edifier H180s. 
And uh, if you were wondering what that blue stuff is on my desk here, it's, um, it's blue tech, and this is what basically holds the earphone into place while I'm soldering. So this part is relatively easy. You just uh, let the solder heat up. Once that's heated, you uh, put that onto the soldering joints and that should melt the solder, which will allow you to remove the cable. So we've got one down. I'm gonna first start with the left earphone and then I'll remove the cap from the right earphone and we'll do the same with that one. But first of all, I think it's uh, it was perfect that I worked in this way so that I didn't mix anything up and I basically just took my time. So I apologize about this part since I'm kind of out of frame, but I cut off the left MMCX uh, connector and now I'm going to strip the cable. For this part, I'm using a craft blade that I purchased off AliExpress for a dollar and 44 cents. I find that with a craft blade, it's a lot easier to strip the wires as opposed to a regular knife or even a razor. So I uh, definitely recommend getting something like this if you plan on doing some wire stripping. So after stripping the wires, I tinned them with some solder. And here you can see me doing that. So I actually combined the wires together. So the black to the black and the copper to the copper so that it would be a lot easier to solder them, solder them to the um, actual drivers. So once I'm done with the tinning, I insert the cable into the tubing, to the shrink tubing, and then into the edifier shells, and I use a tweezer in order to basically pull them out of the shell because they do get a little bit difficult to pull once they're in the shell. Once they're through, I can start with the soldering. So surprisingly, this part went pretty quick. I didn't expect it to go this quick, but I guess I kind of prepared. Anyway, I like to pro uh, prime my soldering iron with some with some with some solder. I find it makes the the whole process a lot easier. And as you can see, I got my first joint. So this is already for the right earphone. I've already done at this point. I, I have already done the left earphone. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film it, or I guess I forgot to push the record button. And then, yeah, I'm pretty much done over here. So I'm also adding some blue tack on to the joints. I don't want the cables touching one another. Some people use electrical tape. I use uh, blue tack. I don't know if, if this is a bad idea or a good idea. I just figured, you know what, let me just, let me try it and let me see what happens. So here comes the knot. I'm pretty much tying a knot so that the uh, cable doesn't slip all the way through the shells. So that if you basically tug on the cable from the other end, the the um, joints won't get uh, weakened by this, or they won't snap. Now here comes the fun part. I'm going to basically shrink that tubing onto the cable. Generally, you would use a heat gun. I don't have a heat gun, so I'm gonna do it the hack way, which is using a lighter. And there you have it, I am pretty much done. And here comes the sound test. Well guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Um, I did definitely have a fun time doing this. I just wish I would have gotten better footage. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.